So we have seen the case where the force applied to a body, this force is applied perpendicularly to the body. Now, in the case when the force is not applied at a right angle, there are three possibilities to solve the problem. The first one is to work with the arm D. with arm D and this arm D should be perpendicular to the rod. Here we have uh, an example in which we have a force F applied to this rod but not applied at 90 degrees but applied at this angle 45 degrees. So, first thing, if you want to calculate the metre using the arm D, we have to calculate this arm D. What we have to do is to, to find the perpendicular distance to the point O from the line of application of F. So we have our line of application here and we have to find the perpendicular distance. If I just try to... So this perpendicular distance will be in fact here, somewhere here. This perpendicular distance, uh, we call it the arm D, is now here. How to find it? We we launch the the line of we follow the line of action of the force, and we draw the perpendicular to the point where we want to calculate the moment. So the moment now at the point at the point about O. It is D times the force. Now, what's D? This distance. I have the angle 75, and D is opposite to 75. So it's, and this distance here, we have it's 3 meters. So it's 3 sine 75 degrees. Finally, the moment M for both O is F, which is 5 times 3 times sine 75 degrees. And I've got the, here the, as I did the calculation, is 14.5 kilonewtons per meter. Of course now I haven't talked about the the direction of the moment because the moment in fact is a vector and a vector has a magnitude and direction. So the magnitude of the moment is 14.5 <coughs> and the tendency to turn this road is clockwise. The rod, will, if we apply a force, it will turn clockwise. This is how we do when we want to calculate a moment when the force is not applied perpendicularly to the, to the body. We use the, the arm D. We have to find arm D. I recall how to find the arm D. You have to, 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 to draw the line of action of the force from this line of action, you find the, per the perpendicular line to the point where you want to calculate your moment, and you do you apply the, the definition of the moment, which is force times distance. We we'll thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.